She's the queen. We love to dance on a Saturday night. All along where I can hold her tight, but she lives on the 20th floor of town. The elevator's broken down, so I walk one, two, five, three, five, four, five, six, seven, five, eight, five more. I'm on the 12th, I'm starting the train. 15 before I'm ready to set. Get to the top, I'm too tired to run. Hello folks, in this tutorial I'm going to teach how to play that great Eddie Cochran song, 20 Flight Rock. Eddie recorded that song a couple of times. Uh, the first time was in 1956 when he played it in the key of A. And that's the version you can see him miming along with in the film The Girl Can't Help It. He re-recorded the song the year later in 1957, playing it in the key of G this time like this. <laughs> on that one he has some what I think are quite corny backing vocals so I prefer the earlier one uh, in the key of A. And that's the way that Eddie performed it live. It's based on a 12 bar blues chord progression although there are two slightly different versions of the chord progression within the song and I'll talk a bit about that later. The structure of the song goes like this there's an introduction four bars long then the uh, first verse chorus second verse chorus again then there's a solo, which is a 12-bar blues solo. I won't talk too much about that in this tutorial. Then we have the uh, final verse and a final chorus, and then the outro. You can view or download a song sheet for this song containing all the lyrics and chords from my songbook blog. I've included a link in the video's description. I've also included a link to my video of my complete version of this song. So, the intro goes like this. You may recognise that riff from songs like Hound Dog, Elvis Presley's song Hound Dog, and uh, Little Richard's song Slippin' and Slidin', and probably lots of other songs as well. Um, Eddie played it like this. You have uh, an open fifth string, that's an A. Then you have your first finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Play those two notes together. It's the bottom of an A chord really, isn't it? Then with your third finger, you slide up from the third fret to the fourth fret of the fifth string. Place your first finger over the second fret of the fourth string and the third string. And play those two notes together. Put that all together, you have... Like that. And at the right speed... Like I said, the intro is four bars long, so you play three of those one bar riffs, and then there's a stop, and that's that bottom of the A chord again. Open fifth string, second fret, fourth string. And you go, ooh, well, and then you're into the first verse. So the verse, 12 bar blues, like I said, the first four bars are that riff again. play a version of the riff against a D chord. So that's slightly different. Uh, we're playing an open D string, the fourth string. You slide up on the third fret to the fourth fret with your third finger again like we did before on the fifth string. Then you play two notes together. Second fret, third string. Third fret, second string. Those are two notes out of a D chord, aren't they? So that's of those and then we have a stop bottom of an A chord again open fifth second fret fourth then we shift that riff down to play against an E chord so that's exactly the same as we played it against the A chord just move down one string and then we have a stop again and then we're into the chorus so I'll play a whole verse now this is the first verse Ooh, well, I've got to go with the record machine when it comes to rocking. She's the queen. We love to dance on a Saturday night. All along where I can hold a tag, but she lives on the 20th floor of town. Then there's a stop, and you go into a chorus. The choruses are played with the kinds of technique that I describe in some detail in my tutorial number one. So it's probably a good idea if you work your way through that tutorial, if you haven't already 
but I will talk a little bit about that stuff here and now. The choruses have a 12 bar blues structure and are played using this kind of rock and roll riff. <laughs> pretty sure that that's how Eddie Cochran played that kind of riff, with down and up strokes of his pick, focusing on just two strings at a time. So when he was playing the riff along with an A chord, he'd play the open fifth string, an A, together with notes on the fourth string. So he put his first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, then he'd use his little finger to play notes on the fourth fret. He'd put his little finger down on beats two and four in the bar, and then lift it off immediately afterwards, like this. I don't know why Eddie Cochran used his little finger like that. Uh, most guitarists uh, use their third finger like I do. So you put your third finger down on the fourth fret on beats two and four in the bar and then lift it off immediately afterwards. To play that riff along with a D chord, you simply move it over one string, so you have the open fourth string, a D, and you play that together with notes on the third string. And for the E chord, when I play the chorus, on acoustic guitar anyway, I like to strum it a little more freely, so I play it like this. explain how to play using that technique in my tutorial number one. So the choruses actually go like this. You play the riff over four bars of an A chord. One, two, three, four. Move to the D for two bars. One, two. Back to the A for two bars. One, two. One bar of E. One bar of D. And for the final two bars of the 12 bar, you play the riff that you play during the verses. All together, it sounds like this. So I walk one, two, five, three, five, four, five, six, seven, five, eight, five, four. I'm on the 12th, I'm starting to drag, 15th floor, around the red of the Get to the top, and I have two times to run. Except for the very last chorus that goes like this. Get to the top, and the time to run. So the song ends with a short run and a couple of chords. That run is played on a bass on Eddie Cochran's record, and you may not have a bass player available to you, so here's how to play it on the six string guitar. You have an open fifth string, fourth fret fifth string, open fourth string, 1st fret 4th string, 2nd fret 4th string. All together that's... And I do a bit of palm damping there, so I put the fleshy edge of my hand just over the bridge. The final bit is this. So I quickly play a note on the open 5th string, and then I have my 1st finger across the 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th strings on the 3rd fret. And then I move that down to the 2nd fret to play an A6 chord. All together that's... So what about the solo, the instrumental break, I hear you ask? Well, that follows the same 12 bar blues structure as the verses. But I'm not going to explain how to play it like Eddie Cochran did, because that would take a whole tutorial in itself, really. And in any case, you'd need somebody to back you up, a bass player or another guitarist to play behind you as you go. It just sounds a bit empty without somebody backing you up. So what I suggest you perhaps do is leave out the solo completely. In fact, there is a live recording of Eddie Cochran playing this song in which he does just that. 
Or you could do something like I do. I uh, use different chord inversions in a rhythmic way to impersonate Eddie Cochran's solo in such a way where I don't need another musician to back me up like this. I'm going to finish off with the final verse and chorus of the song. Well, they said to Chicago for repairs, to let the fix down using the stairs. I hope the hurry before it's too late. Baby, too much to wait. All oh, this climbing is a getting me down. You'll find my corpse draped over a rail, so I climb. One, two, five, three, five, four. Five, six, seven, five, eight, five, four. I want to drop up the stuff in the track. Three feet to fall around the red set. Get to the top, and I'm too tired to rob. Thanks for watching, folks. If you have any queries, let me know in the comments.